Hey guys, Stephen and Amy here from ProTech. Today we're going to talk about our small knife sheath. Now the small knife sheath can come in a variety of, of orientations and configurations. Um, we make them inside the waistband, outside the waistband. We attach them to Molly uh, or attach them to a backpack or a chest strap or whatever. Um, this particular uh, customer has a uh, one of the the, the uh, clenched fist push knives. I don't know what it's called, a push knife. It's got a, a little uh, a snake cobra emblem on the blade. No names, but uh, <laughs> we laser engrave the name of the product on the back of our holster backers, and it's been so long since I've done that because Miss Amy does that part now that I forgot. Uh, this is a Shiv Works push dagger, apparently. It is. It's a Shiv Works push dagger. So, anyways. We made, and uh, th this customer wanted an inside the waistband appendix carry uh, sheath for it. And then she wanted to attach it to the molly, uh, or I'm sorry, to the chest strap on her Haley Strategic um, mini, mini chest rig or mini combat rig. Anyways, it's got a couple of chest, chest straps that come down and then carry mags and what have you. And she wanted to mount it high and tight on the chest strap, so we're using this uh, belt blank to simulate that. And so she'll be able to reach up and pull the knife out that way. Okay? And it's mounted via a mini tech lock. So to take it off, she simply compresses the two tabs and she can take it off. And it's mounted and locked tight it in with three screws and T-posts and spaced off a little bit with some rubber washers and it's got adjustable retention right there she can tighten or loosen it as she sees fit and uh, it's got the ProTech custom gear logo on it that's an extra five horsepower per logo and then uh, next we've got a uh, an inside the waistband appendix carry rig that she'll wear basically right there so she'll have her gun on her hip and then this riding right there and again, it has adjustable retention as well. Uh, Miss Amy, would you demo that? Turn this way so they can't all look at your midriff. Bunch of creepers. Gosh. <laughs> and she'll demo that for you. Everybody's a creeper except for you. Well. And you, ma'am. Come on, ma'am. We don't have all day. Take your time, but hurry up. There we go. All right. Oh, the clips that we put on, this lady does not wear a belt, so just, just put it on your belt. Okay. Um, the clips that we put on it are from Discreet Carry Concepts. They have a very nice bite to them, and you can put them on onto bare pants. So like if she wants to wear her yoga pants that day, or whatever the case may be, um, or just her jeans with no belt, this will clip on there and it won't come off. So there's Miss Amy modeling it. Make sure you put your index finger on this side, right there. Yep, so it goes in between your, your middle and index finger. And then if you put it under your shirt. And if you notice, we set it up, we, we, we put a leather backer behind the whole handle. So when she bends forward, so come back and stretch down and tell us how that feels. Is anything poking you? No. No? Belt. You can, she could <laughs> practically touch the floor with the palms of her hands. So could you feel, what could you feel when you bent forward? Maybe the bottom a little bit. That the bottom? It's pretty flush. Mm -hmm. And the bottom also has a piece of leather that flexes outward on it too. So wherever she has it on the front side of her body, there will be no sharp edges poking her. She might feel some pressure, yeah, right, no from the shirt. leather back her. Yeah. Sure. And then it's also adjustable too. She can raise and lower the clips, so you could you could raise the knife up, you could lower it a little bit, um, and you can also rotate it a little bit. And then it also has adjustable retention. You turn that screw a quarter of a turn at a time, and you can tighten or loosen it. And then it's easy on, easy off. 
on the clip, so you do have to flex them out to disengage that little cleat from the fabric on your pants. Uh, very good clips. Discreet Carry Concepts, if you guys uh, watch this video, shout out to you for making great products. Yeah. Notice how she's okay. actually struggling, so flex it out, go down, and then up. Yeah. Um, because the last thing you want, especially when you're talking a knife, you know, if somebody's close enough to you that you need to use this, the last thing you want to do is grab it and pull the, whole thing. the sheath off with it, you know, because this hand might be occupied, right? So you'd rather have clips that are guaranteed to stay put, right? Yeah, it's not going anywhere. Yep. And then you can also tuck your shirt in behind the clips too. So you can go behind the clip and around the knife and behind the other clip. So let's say she's wearing a, a skirt with a you know, button up white shirt, you know, like some women do, like kind of like semi-formal or office business attire. She can flip that little guy on there and all, all that people will see is just this part of the clip, just the hook part of the clip. And the rest will be concealed behind the shirt. So. Anyways, guys, that's the small knife sheet. You can order yours today um, and just email us or put in the description what you would like to do. Most likely, uh, we will require you to mail us your knife uh, and we'll make the sheet uh, with your exact knife and then mail your knife and your sheet back to you. Um, but you can order yours today from our website. We'll put a link in the description below. Also, please uh, hit the subscribe button and, uh, and uh, share this video with your buddies who like knives and want a really nice sheath to go with the knife. It's typically with knives, especially custom knives like these, the knife is amazing, but the sheath is meh. Because, you know, who wants to put an hour, hour and a half into making a custom sheath? You know, for their knife, they just want to warm up a piece of Kydex, fold it over, slap some eyelets in it, and call it a day. Because they already spent five, six, seven hours on the knife itself, or more. And uh, and there's just, they just don't want to make a really nice sheath for it, a lot of knife makers. Now, there are some out there that make nice ones, but typically, typically most of them are subpar. They're, uh, they, they cover the blade, which is the main requirement of a knife sheath. Um, but ours are fully custom and they're built they're built really tough. So we use Kydex 100. Uh, it's the strongest grade of Kydex on the market. And uh, these things are, they're tough. They're made to go, go to hell and back and, and, and survive. So anyways, guys, stay safe out there. Do you have anything you'd like to say, ma'am? I think it's pretty slick. I felt it in there, but, but nothing, nothing painful, nothing abrasive. Awesome. Good deal. Awesome. I like your, uh, your hair. <laughs> Poofy. Wild hair, dude. Anyways, guys, stay safe out there, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>